Hello Camp Moody Juniors and welcome back to today's activity. Today we are going to do something very exciting. We are going to do a nature art. I don't know if you guys remember but last time I did leaf art painting. Um, so today you're going to need a few more supplies. But don't worry, we will go over the supplies you're going to need. So to get started, we are going to obviously need some paint. Um, I got four colors. I don't know how many colors you guys have, it's in your supply box. Have a look in there. <laughs> you are gonna need a bunch of nature supplies. So, I have a few rocks, I have a few twigs, I also have a little plum, and I have a few leaves. Uh, they're small. I also have a piece of paper, a paintbrush and some water in a cup. So, um, go ahead, get your stuff ready, and let's make some good old nature art. <laughs> Okie dokie guys, so I have everything um, in front of me. I have my piece of paper. Um, the piece of paper we are going to be putting the art on. So, for the first bit, um, just sort of follow what I'm doing as in if you guys feel like doing a bit more or being a bit creative and thinking of something else um, I invite you guys to <laughs> make more art with your extra supplies so I am going to be turning my paper portrait I'll just grab my stuff there we go all right so sort of what the idea behind this is we're going to use the nature to paint and to create nature on our paper so we are going to be making a tree okay <laughs> so basically we have our rocks which we can lay down at the bottom of our piece of paper however it would like if you only have one big rock that's fine you can just put one big rock on one of the edges or something do something fun with it here we go I have my rocks at the end and I'm gonna paint my rocks a few different colors any color. You could even do dots if you wanted. It doesn't need to be one full color. Just whatever you feel like is gonna make the best nature art in your own opinion. Personally, I like to have full colors and not necessarily dots. It's not that I don't like dots. I just, I want to do what I like, you know? So you just do what you like. Alrighty, we got blue, so I got four colors. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Perfect. Make one more blue. If you accidentally get some paint on your paper, that's fine. It adds to the nature, you know, nature's not perfect. And that's why it's so nice. There we go, that's another one. I'm gonna change my color. I think I'm gonna do yellow. This one. Oops. My rocks are dropping. <laughs> You could also just make the rocks one color if that's what you really want to do. Again, this is your artwork. You do it exactly how you want it. Because so imagine making art and not even liking it. I don't know about you guys, but I would not like that at all. <laughs> I like to look at my own artwork and be proud of it. And not think, oh man, I should have done this with it or that with it. Don't worry if you get paint on your hands, we'll wash our hands afterwards. Or at least I will. <laughs> I recommend you guys as well. There we go. And lucky last colour for me is green. Go. 
Yeah. And the last one. Beautiful. All right, so we got our rocks, or rock if you only have one. I'm gonna clean our brush a little bit. All right, you put your brush to the side because next we are going to make the trunk of our tree, which we are gonna do with our twigs. Now it's up to you. You can put your twigs down and then paint over the top of them, like such. Or you can use your twigs as like a paint brush. Um, you could also do this time round where you use a twig to uh, paint and then next time do something else. It's totally up to you. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to like draw or well, paint on the paper first and then put my twigs on it. So like the paint sort of acts as a, as a, as a glue, so to say. And I think I'm going to do it with yellow. Mm, yeah. Sort of like this, and then bent everyone up. Your twigs are probably a little different, but that's fine. Do it your way. Alrighty, so I have that one. And then, beautiful. I'm gonna put this one up there. it down so that it sort of sticks. Alrighty. And now I'm going to do some branches off the side because all trees of course have branches. Okay, I'll do that one there. Sort of looks like a dancing man if I put an arm that way. <laughs> it's not though. There we go. How else should I do it, guys? Oh, I have one going up. Branch off a branch. A bit longer. Beautiful. Put that one down. I think I'll have a branch down here as well. Go. Wow, this is starting to come together, don't you guys think? I think so. I think I'll have one up here. It's a long one. Oops. Oh no, my tree. Let it stick down. And this one goes out this way. And the last one can go up as well. Alrighty. So, now that we have the base, the literal base of our tree, the trunk, it's time to add some leaves. Now, this, in my opinion, is the most, the most fun. I'll show you guys how I do it. Remember, do it your own way. This is my way of doing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my leaves. I'm gonna paint on top of it, like such. And then sort of like the leaf art we did, we're going to press it down on our paper. Make sure it's nicely covered. Alrighty, and then we're gonna do like this. Ta da! Wow, I'm so proud of myself, guys. <laughs> there we go. Give that another good layer. And up. Cool. So just keep on 
putting leaves on it as many as you want um there's no wrong or right amount <laughs> funky like elf like leaves almost yep and I'll still keep it green but remember if you guys want different colors absolutely go for it you can make a rainbow tree if you want it that'd be cool would be really original It's funny what you can do with art. You can use just paint brushes and make a really nice portrait of a person or a landscape or of a dog or a cat or something. But you can also use nature. I love that. There's no wrong or right way of doing art. You go to an art museum with so many different techniques and different styles and, and topics. That's why I like art. You can't ever be wrong because there is no right. <laughs> it's all coming from your beautiful minds. And I'm going to use that elf like leaf again, but a smaller version I have, and do the last little branch with it, I think. Beautiful. And then what you can do to sort of add like a few more nature-y things is what I'm going to do. Because I'm just going to make little dots. Like it's harvest and the leaves are falling down. I'm also going to do some red because for me <laughs> harvest is more of like the warm colours, like pumpkin colours. You do what you want. There we go. And if you want, I have some flowers. I don't know if you guys can see that um, on this little plant. I'm going to take them off. I'm not going to paint them, but I'm just going to stick them down here and there. Oops. Where should I go, guys? Hmm. I think here. Perfect! Alright! I'm gonna show you guys the finished product from the right, right way around. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, and here is my finished product. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty proud of it. Got my rocks, got the tree, the 
leaves and the flowers, the leaves that are falling like it's autumn. Yeah. Pretty proud. <laughs> Alrighty, and that is our nature art for today. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty proud of my my painting. It's very naturey. <laughs> like I said at the start of the video, if you guys feel like this whole creative search coming through you, keep going. Keep making more art. You can make flowers. You can make like a, a bush, I guess you could do, with like all the leaves. Um, you could paint the rocks. If you have a bigger one, you could like actually make... Um, a drawing on there it's totally up to you guys just keep being creative um make sure to tie up your stuff so that paint doesn't go anywhere make sure to wash your hands and have a lovely rest of your day and we will see you next time bye